Hello Level Sense Sentry customers. Congratulations on your purchase of a Level Sense Sentry. Today I'm going to show you how to perform the initial setup on the Level Sense Sentry device. As a first step, if the removable green terminal block is not already installed in your unit, it plugs in as shown. We want you to know that it is removable, and this is useful during mounting and sensor connections. The next step is to plug the 12 volt DC power cord into the device. And then grab the power supply and plug it into an AC power outlet. A new device will present you with a blinking white cloud LED light. This is the indicator that the device is now broadcasting an access point network reachable by your phone or computer. Now you need to create a LevelSense account. To do this, install the LevelSense app or go to the LevelSense webpage at level-sense.com. Create your account. Regardless of whether you register on the apps or on the website, you can log in anywhere with the same email and the same password once the account has been created. After you've registered, sign in. This completes the sign-up process. You will see that there are no devices in your account. With the Sentry still blinking white, grab a computer or cell phone and ensure the device's Wi-Fi is on. Find the network SSID called Level-Sense and connect to the network. You may see a pop-up that says Connected No Internet. That's normal. Find your 2.4 GHz home Wi-Fi network and select it. I like using guest networks because guest networks are almost always dedicated 2.4 GHz. Enter your password for the home wireless network that you selected. Then, enter the email that you used when you created your LevelSense account. Then, click Submit. You will then see a page that says Wi-Fi configuration saved. The white cloud LED is no longer pulsing, and the device appears to be off. The next thing you need to do is press the reset button on the level sent sentry. After you press reset, you will see the cloud LED pulsing yellow while the device is connecting to your local network and your level sense account. Next, go to the app you installed or the website page on the level sense website. It likely says that there are no devices found. Refresh the page and you will see the device is already there. In the case of the app, when you click on your device, the bottom navigation will appear with additional information. All lights are blue and the cloud light is now pulsing blue. That's the sign that the device is connected to your network and in your account. If only the cloud LED is pulsing red, try hitting reset again. If the cloud light continues to stay red, Use the other video on resetting wireless credentials for Level Sense Sentry. This indicates that your wireless credentials were not correct. Remember, the device does not support these special characters. As a final step, be sure to visit the Notifications or Contacts section in the app or website. When your account is set up, the only notification will be to the email address used to register the device. You can add text deliveries or additional notification recipients in these sections. Your personal information lets us know who the device owner is and activates the warranty. It will not be used for marketing purposes. Your level sent Sentry has a number of user configurable settings. How frequently the device reports and how long it will be before you receive an online notification can be found in the Edit or Device Info section. Additionally, you can find your unit's full MAC address in this section. You can customize the inputs to the device Activate and deactivate the sirens in the alarm or alarm settings shown here. Congratulations! You have just completed the setup of your level sent sentry. Always remember that if you have questions, 
you can reach us for support during normal business hours at customer service at sumpalarm.com. Call or use the chat box on the website. Thank you. Enjoy your new device.